Hi everybody, Lara from Love on a Plate. We are now going to make um, what we call Brooks Family uh, Stuffing. My kids like, and my husband, like that traditional stove top stuffing. But me being me, I need to just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. So I take everything that's good about those stuffings and I add some extra veggies and extra flavor. So I do that. I add onion, carrot, celery, just to give it a little bit of texture. I find it gets too mushy otherwise. And this is the stuffing that's going to go inside our turkey this year. So I'll start with the onion, which I'm going to saute with the celery and the carrot, which I'm going to dice um, in a whole bunch of butter because Thanksgiving is supposed to be delicious. So I'm just going to get my butter in my pan, which is off to the side. I'm going to throw the onion in there. Onion's gonna sweat down and get kind of sweet. It's just a little bit of celery and a little bit of carrot. But it adds some nice crunch. And I'm using a traditional um, stove top for turkey stuffing. You can use any of the ones that you like. They have sage. They have a cornbread one, but I make cornbread from scratch. So we'll just get this carrot in here. The carrot also gives it a nice color, a little pop of orange. and makes me feel like it's a little bit healthy. So we're going to dice this up. We don't want this too big at all. So like a nice small dice and it really doesn't take much extra time to add these extras into your pre-purchase so you take the shortcut and then you make it your own and then I've got three boxes I'm cooking for 12 people today so I've got three packets of the Stuffing. That was a pretty big carrot. I'm just going to move this off to the side. You can see here. And we're just going to let that all saute down. You can hear it start to come to a sizzle. And I find that the seasoning packs in the stuffing mixes really are pretty salty. So I don't actually add salt, but I will add a little bit of pepper. And then the butter, a little bit of chicken stock. So these packs have all the herbs and spices in them. This is great too if you're cooking a big meal for like the first time or you have a tiny kitchen like me, you need a couple shortcuts so that you can enjoy your day. This is a great option. You can make a similar stuffing by using dried um, bread cubes. Then you have to get the bread and you have to cube it and you have to bake it or let it go sit out and get a bit stale or hard so it's not too soft. And this works just fine. And this doesn't look like much, but it will plump up, of course, because that's all dried breadcrumbs. So bring this guy back over here. Everybody's already starting to cook down. And it doesn't really need to cook much longer than just to melt the butter. 
and bring out a little bit of the sweetness of the onion because it's going to go inside my turkey and get a lot more flavor from there. And it's going to cook, of course. My turkey's 27 pounds, so it's going to cook for about four and a half hours. Or until the drumstick wiggles, that's what my grandma used to say. We always find four to four and a half hours. No matter how big your turkey is, it's cooked by then. And this one actually is so big that I'm going to cover it in cheesecloth when I'm cooking it so that it doesn't get too uh, browned before it gets cooked. And then I'll take the cheesecloth off towards the end so that the skin can get crispy. We're going to show you that in just a little bit. So that is all you need to do with this. You can turn your burner off. And get the goodies in. stock, flying stuffing. See, and already that just makes it, it's half homemade. We're going to put in some actual homemade stock. You can use canned broth. I just, whenever I cook my chickens, I always take the bones off and make a little stock and keep it in my fridge. So although this doesn't look like it's ready, it is, I'm just going to set this off to the side and then it will go inside the cavity of my turkey. And we will be back to show you that whole process in just a couple minutes. Thanks for watching.